Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our EU4 Let's Play as our Ashikaga into Kishin Japan episode... Is it 10 now? I think it's 10 now. I think we are now at episode 10. Finally! Finally, we're hitting those double digits. And uh, how much have we gotten done so far in these 10 episodes? Well, it is now 1501. We have hit the 1500s. Um, I can probably turn this down as well. And yeah, I mean, we're just about to start colonizing Alaska. And I did a little bit of peeking, and it looks like Portugal has already gotten Caraibas uh, up and working their little colonial nation in the Caribbean. So, I mean, that's actually it. It's just Portugal right now, which means we're kind of early to the game. Not bad. Not bad at all. So all we really need to do is um, hope that colonialism spawns in our country, and if not, uh, we'll, we'll have to develop it slash make Alaska. And I guess that's the best we can do. That's pretty much... Pretty much the best we can do. Now, of course, uh, local settler increase is going to be a lot less for these areas over here, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it's kind of the best we can do. We can start over here, and then maybe, maybe we can go over to here and see how far uh, Cascadia actually goes, and then use that to judge uh, exactly which provinces we can go to, which ones we should colonize. And etc. Because, well, I mean, to be honest, all we need to do is get five of the best best development ones, which there's not really that much to choose from in terms of good development, but five of the best development ones, and um, that's it. It can colonize the rest of it for us, and we don't have to worry about it. So anyway, anyway, let's continue along our game here. Hopefully colonialism will spawn soon, because I don't like having to wait and uh, get my hopes up that it will spawn here. I just want to know, is it going to happen? Is it not going to happen? That's it. That's all I want to know. That's it. Also, what happened to us? Why did we lose a diplomatic rep uh, relation? Where did that go? Where did that go? I have no idea. But, uh, we can grab the next technology. We can... Actually, we should do that, shouldn't we? Or should we? Was there a reason I was saving it? There might have been, but I can't exactly remember what it would have been if we were... I mean, we don't really need it. Was it that? I think I'll take it. I think I'll take it anyway. There might have been a reason. Um, but if there was, then I don't remember it. And maybe I'll remember it when it's an actual problem. Maybe. Um, but for now, we're just going to take it and move on with our lives. Um, can we... Oh, we can demand points. Okay, great. Uh, that'll bring you up by 15 loyalty. This will bring you down by... 20, so they'll be down by 3. Maybe we should wait a little while uh, for the merchant guilds to, to get a little bit more loyal before we do that. Also, I can probably turn down my army maintenance just a little bit. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Eventually, we can get the military one too, the next military tech. Uh, and these guys should be on their way. We're probably going to um, get rid of the rebels, these provinces, because we kind of need to uh, turn down maintenance at a certain point. Because we are kind of spending a lot, to be fair. Also, if Korea ever becomes an actual problem again, um, first of all, we should accept Korean. It'll only cost 99 and we're going to be having a lot more Korean in the future. So that acceptance will, again, decrease the unrest. And then if we really, really, really have to, we can, uh, we can increase autonomy because there won't be as much of an impact. Yeah, it won't be as much. There'll still be an impact, but just not as much. Alrighty then, so, uh, this is getting started. This is gonna... Oh, it's gonna take a little while. But it won't be terrible. Can we get the growth policy? Do we have that, actually? I think we do already. Okay, that's fine. Um... So if we were to fight them, it'll cost one. They're 500. Let's do it. We send them over so we can fight them. And that we won't have to bring these guys, keep them over there. That'll be... That's pretty much fine. We can also land them over here and do the same thing. But for now, that just means uh, won't be anything happening to it. 
Yeah, so if you look over here, uh, 500 natives. So when when they're uh, when we're done, okay, 500 natives will help us with a little bit of local goods production. Which, um, well, I mean, if we just take a look at how much is produced here, uh, goods produced 0.19 over here. That's your regular province over here. Increases by 0.03. Okay, that's kind of helpful. Kind of. Not super helpful, but it's kind of helpful. I mean, sure, I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Um, now, I think... I think we're going to have to just keep doing it along the entire coast there. Uh, prestige or unrest? I don't think... I don't think we're going to go with the unrest thing. That's not really <laughs> doing so well. Yeah, let's go with the prestige. We'll take the prestige hit. That's kind of a lot better than all this unrest that I have here. Oh, wow. I do have a lot of unrest, don't I? Hmm. Now, are you guys getting rid of unrest? No. Ah, uh, but you can do this. You sort of make your way up here to here. That'll help it out a little bit, but if they rise up then, well, there's not much we can do. We're just sort of helping to suppress a bit. Um, now, these guys are gonna come over. I mean, I don't actually need these guys here anymore, do I? I don't. I don't really. Um, but again, another thing we can do, actually... Oh, no, 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 because we're actually... Yeah, we're sending... We're um, expelling minorities in from Chikuzen over to Eliut, so... We actually can't send out the colonists once again, although I kind of wish we could. Uh, what we're going to end up doing is bringing these guys over there. Turning down the music a bit. That's kind of really loud. Uh, if we can start building some buildings too, that'll be great. Not really much production. A little bit of tax. Trade, not really. These are okay to build. Those aren't bad at all. It's 1502, colonialism still hasn't spawned, and I'm a little bit upset. Just a tad bit. Kind of, I kind of really want those, that colonialism to spawn, you know, be kind of nice to have at some point. This year, maybe, Paradox. Both literally in real life and in the game, maybe? Maybe? I mean, it's 1502? Has, has the Reformation not done the whole reforming thing, or no? Oh, uh, and Visor's dead. Uh, the colonial range wouldn't be that bad. Actually, that'd be pretty okay. That would be pretty okay then, wouldn't it? Also, oh yeah, I think I was going to talk about annexing subjects. Because I can do that again now, by the way. I can do that with certain ones. Um, is it worth doing, though? I don't know. But I can do it. I don't think I would go with the weakest one, though. I would go with, like, definitely Yamana. Or something. So we're gonna improve relations. Oh, that can only. Uh, mm, that doesn't actually work though, can it? Yeah, no, they're still kind of upset because I have a course that's minus 20. Hmm. Okay. How about Toki? I'm a tyrant overlord apparently, and I don't know why. But no one's rebellious at all anymore, which is great. Very good. Very, very good. Oh, I can get claims on Korea too. Not that I can use them, mind you, but I can have them, at least. And then also on Yeren, which I actually can use. Oh, should I declare war on Yeren? I said that two different ways. First time was okay, second time was just Yeren. <laughs> uh, I, could, I could take that. I mean, that wouldn't be so bad. Their development's trash, kinda. But they don't have any allies. Zhengzhou is literally allied with Ming, so that's great. Um, it looks like Ming's doing okay now. They lost a couple of nations, but they're doing better than before, at least. Uh, I could get a new idea, or I could just save up. I think I'm going to save up, actually. And keep on exploring. We have that extra colonial range, meaning we can actually reach all the way over... Oh, look, nothing. Nothing changed. Not a single thing changed over here. I can, I don't know, colonize Australia or something. I mean, sure. I don't know if it'll be a little bit faster. And yeah, so you see this. It's not going to be any faster colonizing Australia or Alaska. 
Like, there's not a single thing that will be faster here. This is tropical, so minus 10 local settlers. This is frozen wasteland, pretty much. It's uh, Arctic, so it's, again, minus 10 local settlers. There's just, there's no winning at this point. Like, I can, I can choose either this painfulness, or I can choose the painfulness that's colder. There's just, there's no difference here. There's no difference. I wonder if I can reach far enough to grab uh, New Zealand, actually, because New Zealand's really nice to colonize. Like, they almost, they have pretty much no penalties. Actually, they don't have any penalties on the entire island. Like, literally none. And they have high development, so that'll be nice. So if we ever start in Australia, it'll be nicer to start in here. It'll be much nicer. Because then we just get, like, five colonies here. They'll start colonizing the rest of it. And then I get, ah, uh, well, actually... Colonial behavior's been changing a little bit. Sometimes they'll colonize where you want them to, sometimes they won't. Uh, oh, nice, free free production. But anyways, what I mean by that is um, sometimes they'll only colonize things that are attached to their capital, not necessarily if they're attached to uh, the colonial region. So, say, they might not actually start colonizing over here on the eastern part of uh, Australia, if their capital's in New Zealand. Uh, that happens sometimes, and I don't know why, but it does, so I guess we just sort of have to accept it. And then again, there's also that whole Caribbean thing that kind of also works the same way, and that also sucks. But yeah, enough about that, enough about that, that doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, power projection. Can we insult Ming and get really, really close to where we need to be? We can, so I might as well. Uh, sure, let's go with that. 49. Ooh, so close. So close and yet so f so very, very far. Uh, we can't get any other rivals. What else can I do to Ming? Uh, enter a war against them. Whoa, I don't know about that one. Insult or humiliate, support rebels in their land, and embargo their merchants. And apparently privateering. Privateering is also a thing, but they don't really talk about that. Uh, I can't support rebels. Because we don't have... Oh. Oh. Oh, hold on. This might be very interesting. I thought support rebels was a was a diplo like I thought I needed to have better diplo tech or something. Uh, never mind. First of all, admin, thank you. Second of all, we are going to support some rebels inside of Ming. That's what we're gonna do because their mandate is not very high still. So they have national unrest problems, and supporting rebels is gonna be very nice. They're at they're in debt. Um. They have a standing total army of 40,000 with only 2,000, maybe 3,000 manpower. They would have to use mercenaries, probably, depending on what it all is. So... Hmm. Okay. Well, that's rather interesting to find out that I can do. Gain some core provinces, gonna turn that down again a little bit. Maybe it's a little bit too loud. I apologize if that was been... Screaming in your ears for the past several minutes. Uh, Chukchi. Oh, wait, all these cultures are uh, Kamchatkan. Okay. So, anyway, Chukchi and Separatists. Where? Oh, in these two places that I can't pronounce, my favorite. Okay. So, here um, and here. Okay. Why are you guys upset? I increased your autonomy, didn't I? Yes. Oh wow, yeah, I just have so many so many bad modifiers. Jeez, okay. Didn't even realize it was that bad. But yeah, apparently I'm just like the worst ruler ever. So these people are really, really upset. Okay. I mean, these guys have nothing else to do. Might as well sit there. These guys are going to go down the huge trek over to uh, Shukchi. And again, you know, 10 years of separatism. <sighs> super special, my favorite. Oh! Well, hold on. Okay, this is super exciting. Who is it? <gasps> oh, yes! Oh, I got colonialism. All right. We, we're going now. We're, this, this is a... This is a... Oh, nice. Ah! I would have been so upset if it didn't spawn in my country, but there you go. 
There you go. Take this. Take this, Europe. Take this, Portugal. Castile. France. You guys are just gonna be suffering. Okay, maybe not Portugal. Portugal's fine. But everyone else should suffer for, for around 50 years. Hopefully. Damn! That's nice. That's really nice. So you get a major colonial port. Making you disgustingly powerful in trade power. Okay, that's great. Alright, nice. We get marketplace there. Uh, we're capped on military, which kind of sucks. I mean, we could take that, but I'd prefer just to spend it on some, some random development. But, oh, that feels really nice. That feels really, really nice. Okay, so now we get colonialism spawned in Japan. Wow, that's great. That's, that's fantastic. So we should be able to, we should be just fine. We should be great. We don't have to, we don't, we're not forced to make Alaska. We're not forced to make Australia. We can essentially colonize at our own pace now. Uh, and it's going to take a little while to spread to my capital. But colonialism tends to spawn, uh, tends to spread really quickly if you see here. Yeah, so colonialism, colonial, uh, yeah, if I could speak English, I'd have such a better day. But anyway, colonialism tends to spread really, really quickly. And I don't know why, but it tends to spread really quickly within your own provinces and like among your allies. So friendly provinces really, really like having colonialism. And it just, it spreads Fast enough that usually you don't need to put on any edicts. Uh, but just for the sake, like this thing is, it's such a, a long strip of, of territory. I might just put on the edict. Because that's actually going to be like a good investment to spread it all along here. It's going to get to my capital faster. It's going to be really, really nice. Um, see, colonialism can spawn though. If it's the port or capital of a country with a new world colonial nation. I think I talked about that earlier, um, which is why we had this little rush to go and uh, and start colonizing either Alaska or uh, Australia. Alaska will get me much closer to California and Mexico though, which is like what I really, really want. So if we can sort of invade all of Mexico, um, all that trade is gonna come over to Nippon and that's gonna be fantastic. That's gonna be really, really nice to have. Hopefully these guys don't actually need any help. Oh, and now we have... Oh, no. Oh, I'm... Uh, uh, remember those times when I talk about being stupid? This is one of those times. This is one of those times. I got really wrapped up, super excited about colonialism spawning, and I forgot to manage my rebels. So... Oh, you're not actually gonna... Oh, you lo Really? 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 Okay, we're having a fun time here, aren't we? Uh, lose a diplomat, sure, uh-huh, okay, I'm suffering a little bit inside here. A little bit. 9k, really, you just, they got it all back really, really quick, huh? Really kind of quick. But anyway, oh, we need to wait for this guy to come back, or, I mean, how many do we have? Three out of three, okay, we'll wait. Um, let's go and explore some more in the Northwest Pacific Coast. Which is over here, something like that, I don't know. Yay, Separatism, my favorite. Oh, wow, this is gonna be fun to manage. Okay, he's back. Give him to these guys. Get as many as you can. Over here. And then when they're done, you can get these guys, do the same thing. Hopefully we can finish this. Yeah, I was sort of gauging like, hmm, is that, will that be okay if I do that? Probably. So, great. Uh, whoa. Whoa, did that 20% just fire? Now we have a 6 Diplo Air, or not Air, uh, 6 Diplo Shogun. That's really interesting. I, I always expect to just get, like, the points here, but no, that's really cool. Okay. That was a 20% chance, so I guess we're getting pretty lucky today, huh? Colonialism spawning. We're getting that 20% chance of the, uh, the extra Diplo production. That's pretty good. That's pretty solid, actually. 
These guys are gonna siege this back down, which I shouldn't have to do, but okay. Uh-huh. They only have 2,000, and it's level 2 fort. Okay, so in theory, if we can burn it down or something. Um, wait, do you, do you guys have the artillery? No, you have the artillery, don't you? Yes, you do. Okay. Uh, 11,000, huh. I don't like those numbers, but okay. Not much I can do about that right now. Let's grab these, though. Uh, superior Unitypes, the Arquebusier, uh, I'm assuming that's what that's supposed to be pronounced as. Hopefully these guys get their morale back in time. This colony is kind of taking a while, to be honest, but that's fine. And I think I talked about these guys, uh, who are now at the right level of loyalty to give me some free Diplo. Giving me some global tariffs and envoy travel time. People underestimate the, the global envoy travel time. Not the global one, just the envoy travel time. I find that really useful. It's kind of, it's really good if you, um, when you're playing a colonial game. You know, when you're uh, sending declarations of war to people who are going to take like a hundred days for your envoy to get back. It's just really nice, and that's probably why it's part of the exploration ideas. So say it's probably going to take like... Uh, at least 80 days to get an envoy from Mexico over to here. Well, now it's going to take 60 days, right? No, I didn't do that math right. It's going to take like 63 days-ish. Just a little bit more, but that's fine. These guys can continue sieging. We're going to bring these guys over here just to even out some numbers a bit. Then we're going to move the general over. Uh, oh, what's this? Oh, it's one of the last ones for this. Well, that doesn't matter much. Uh, although we now have pretty much everything done here. All we need is level 2 centers of trade. But look at that. We've uh, we've been doing a lot of stuff here, huh? Present on two continents. Uh, that would be Asia and, of course, North America. Okay, cool. Very nice. We're getting somewhere. Oh, and I hate how this works. I hate how this whole thing works. See, like, you'll, you'll tell your... Um, You'll say, yeah, I want to move these guys over to here. So they'll start moving over here, but your ships are like, oh, but you, you wanted to be here, right? No, apparently they just decided to move over. So you guys have to move over too. And it's a lot of fun. It's tons of fun. Uh, the Siege of uh, Gyeongju is over. We can bring you guys over there. We could get economic ideas, but I don't really want to. Uh, free naval supplies, very nice. Over here we are uh, we're at 32-ish percent, 31 more like percent. Uh, what is that? Five five years I think until that's done, and then it'll keep going. Very nice. Uh, let's actually upgrade you and then send you out because apparently I can upgrade things now, which is very nice. And let's, let me take a look at the time. Actually, now that I think about it, let me take a look at the time. 20 almost 24 minutes. That's not a problem. That's totally cool. We can keep going now, uh, and yeah, that's it. We can keep going. We can also get more claims. Not that I, I don't know if I'll actually use these. I might use these. Oh, right, because you know what I took? Claims, ordering claims. Forgot about that. Like, it's kind of stupid. I should have taken this claim, actually. That was a three development province. I feel stupid. Um, but we can get it, like, soon anyway. Just get claims on absolutely everything. And we should be fine. Now, I'm trying to sort of store up enough money so that we can actually support rebels in Ming. Depends on what rebels they are, of course. And I'm also heavily considering colonizing this. Just to destroy, just to screw with Ming. I kind of want to colonize a small piece of Taiwan just to screw with Ming. And uh, what I mean by that is, uh, I'm pretty sure, you know how Ming loses mandate by like non-tributaries, right? So there are there are enough non-tributaries around Ming to lose 0 0.12 uh, mandate per month. Now, I'm not sure I belong into that category because I don't share a border with them at all. So if we can actually check, Korea is of course a tributary, uh, tributary. Oirat is uh, actually not a tributary. 
And that's probably where they're losing a lot of mandate. Uh, Caradel is one, I believe. No, actually, Caradel is not, but they do share a border with Ming, so it doesn't work. Chagatai, uh, they actually are one. Uh, Shun is one of their sub... Not the subjects, but Shun, who uh, appeared out of thin air, out of Ming's territory, is now a tributary. Uh, Yue isn't, though, so they're losing a uh, mandate on that, I think. Ning is, of course, and Wu uh, isn't either, which means they're losing tributary status on that, or they're losing mandate, I should say. Now, my question is, which I'm pretty sure is true, um, do, do C-Zones affect that? So if I colonize here, shares a Z-Zone with Ming, will they lose more mandate? And if that's the case, I will be more than happy to provide that, to colonize just one, just one of these, any of these provinces in Taiwan works. I could take this one, works really well, um, and then they lose so much mandate that they start crumbling again, so Ming starts exploding, um, especially if I start supporting rebels, of course. Yeah, so I'm interested. That's inter I just, I don't know. I'm interested. That's all I wanted to say. And I also want to know, can I get a better general? Can I do that? Uh, in a few years, I could do that. But I could do this right now. Just to see, can I... Oh, he's so much better. Yeah, okay, I'm going to take that guy and kick out the old one. This guy's so much better. He's going to fight this battle for me, and hopefully he does well. Uh, I'll lose the 10 Diplo, sure. And this is only going to cost 568. Uh, which means, in theory, do we still have that, um... Okay, I thought we had that little... I want to say bonus there, um, the minus 10%. But, uh, apparently not. And Gen Zhao looks like they just... Took my, uh, my claims. They took the stuff I wanted to take, which means I'll have to declare war on them at some point. Eventually. Uh, oh, did I? Oh, I won that battle, did I? Okay. I didn't even notice. I, it just sort of must, it must have just went over my head 100%. I didn't notice that. Um, did that, did that screen really show up? Really? Huh. Yeah, I really didn't notice that, to be honest. But whatever. These guys are halfway through. Oh, it's gonna take so long. So long. Oh my god. It's gonna take ages. I'm surprised these guys are taking no attrition. Probably because they're in my own territory, but... It's kinda cold up there, so you'd think... You'd think maybe they'd get a little bit chilly. But, nah, who knows? Maybe not. Looks like Korea is having so many issues. That's what I like to see. Yeah, Korea thought they were going to get strong this game. Mm-mm. It took, like, two wars, and now they're just dead. They're they're pretty much just gone, deceased. Uh, I'd have to scroll down to find them, actually. Oh, jeez, really? They're, I can't find them at all. Here they are. 4,000. Ooh, yikes. And two of those are mercs. Oh, no. Half of their army are, are mercs, and um, they don't have much of an army to begin with. Ooh, that's uh, a little bit, a little bit unfortunate. Oh, and I'm not even the first to to actually embrace colonialism. That's kind of sad, um, but it's expected, of course. Military leader has left us. That would be my admiral, wouldn't it? Yes, it would be. Should I grab a new one? No, no, I shouldn't actually. I very much should not grab a new one, uh, unless I want to do it this way, which I kind of don't, because I kind of want to finish off uh, these things. Expel minorities, I can fabricate claims overseas in colonial regions. Which is something you can't do originally, so Mexico, I don't think, would be possible to fabricate a claim on. I don't think, at least. I'm, I'm not really sure if I'm going to be 100% honest. But yeah, I don't, think, I don't think it works that way. Ooh, really close. Can I? Can I? Support rebels in Ming. I can. We're going to look for the biggest group of separatists, and you can tell by how much it costs. Uh, Mongol separatists. I'm looking for something right inside the heart of Ming. Something that's just going to make them pissed off. It's going to ruin their day. 
The heavy sets 313-338. Of course, the peasants are usually some of the biggest ones. So I saw one down here, 316. I, I think 338, though, was over here. 313. 338, yeah, Liang Separatists. In all of those areas. Well, uh, yeah, screw it. We're doing it. We're gonna send some over to Ming. And if they actually work out, then I think I get power projection. Supporting rebels in their lands. Yeah, so I've supported the rebels. If they pop, then I think uh, my plan has succeeded. If they don't, then I get no power projection and I just lost a whole bunch of money. And that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. The Arabian coast. Uh, yep, okay. And then we can move on to the Northeast Pacific. Over here, I'm assuming. Yeah, we can see pretty much Mexico at this point. That's pretty cool. We can reach over here with col uh, colonists now. We can probably reach even further with Aleut. Maybe. I think that, uh, that last Diplo really gave us some, some range, didn't it? Yeah, level 9 gave us plus 50, which is pretty nice. Well, that's good. Uh, let's look at all of our subjects. Oh. They're all really happy. Okay, cool. So, let's annex, like, all of them. <laughs> like, all at the same time. Let's go with you. Let's go with you. Uh, and you. All of you at the same time. We can hit the Sankin Kotai. Yep. Just to make it go faster. Our diplomacy is now plus 4.6. Really, really nice. And uh, I'm going to strengthen government a little bit. We're going to annex every single one here. We're minus 15 a month. Holy hell. Is this worth it? Is it worth minus 15 a month? That's for you guys to decide. It's probably not. <laughs> it's probably not to be 100% honest. Um, you know what we should do? A time check. Let's be real here. Let's keep it a buck fifty. We've been playing for a little while. It is 32 minutes in. Unfortunately, that means I need to put in a cut here. This is Corbett signing off. Hoping you had a fantastic time this episode, and as always, have a fantastic day.